Chef with Chinese Garden and my buddy Briggs. My son and I are getting ready to go buy some trees this morning, right? Trees. We're gonna buy two ginkgo trees. I went and looked at them yesterday and they're gorgeous. And I'll show you where we're gonna put them. Right here where each of those posts is, those ginkgo trees are gonna go in there. Should be a gorgeous look for the driveway. Oh, I see them. We're coming up to them. Oh, look at that gorgeous golden yellow fall color. Okay, it's a few days later. We got the trees that day. Briggs and I went to the nursery. We paid for them. We paid for a delivery fee, and I just got a call from the owner. They are on their way. He said, you know, it's funny that you bought them when you did because we put a diaper on them to protect their roots and set them out by the road. And they had all these glorious yellow leaves on them that they had several people come inside and say, I want to buy those trees. But I got to them first. He did say the leaves have fallen off now, but he actually saved some for me because he said they're just the most glorious yellow and I want you to be able to see what they looked like right before they fell off. So it's an exciting day. Trees are coming. Here they come. My heart rate is high. I'm so excited. Look at those babes. Here we are. They brought me some leaves at the bottom as promised. Oh, it's gonna be so nice by our driveway with that fall color. And our house is also black now, so it will be a nice juxtaposition. There we go, Princeton Century Ginkgo. This variety has the perfect columnar shape. Should get 50 feet tall and 30 feet wide. All right guys, today is the day we are getting our ginkgo trees into the ground. We have rented an auger here because ours is a little too small for this big job. And we are working on digging the holes and then our plan of attack is to put a little bit of topsoil on the bottom. Ours has a lot of clay in it, but we're gonna make it work. And then we're going to put in some bone meal as the fertilizer, which was recommended by the nursery. And then we're also going to put in some biotone starter fertilizer to really help that tree in the spring come back to life as well. It's a slow release fertilizer. And then fill back in with some topsoil. Here we go. We wanted to have the experience of planting these trees ourselves to be able to say that we planted them and to use this heavy duty auger, but it's definitely a challenging job and it would have been $150 to have the nursery put them in. So next time we'll do that because it's a lot, a lot of work and they can probably do it three times faster, but we're really happy that we did it and we got it done. And years from now, we can say we planted these trees on our property. It took a while to understand how to efficiently use the machine, and our friend Ben was super helpful in helping us get this project done. All right. Last one. Then it was time to shovel, which took a lot of work because clay soil is heavy. But we shoveled that clay soil out until we had enough room to put the root ball in. Rolling toward the hole. Yeah, don't worry about it. You want me to push? Our hole is now dug and we've measured. And here come the boys. <laughs> I'm going Not an easy job. Probably 400 pounds. One, two, three. Oh, not in yet, not in yet. Not in? Not in. Two pounds with the bone meal, so the bag is four, so about half the bag. Okay, home starter fertilizer. Yeah, yeah, that big tree. Two, three. Woo! She's in! She's in! Okay, now it's time to backfill. So we're gonna combine the native soil and the topsoil so that there's no air pockets where the tree is around the base of the tree. So we've already got some of this clay soil that we have down in the hole. Put it in there. And I'm also gonna combine with some regular topsoil. And come around on all the sides. Okay, here's how we're looking. We've got the clay tucked in around as well. We've got about another two, three inches to go. I'm gonna come back in 
with more topsoil. Okay, I just put the topsoil around it again, so I'm going to lightly okay. pack it, and we'll keep going. I think we're gonna need some more topsoil. So we're in the holes. Last couple steps. I'm going to rip the twine and open all this up. The burlap will decompose naturally. Open, open. Get this out of there. And then we'll water in. Well, this will take a while, but we'll water it in. And then we'll do topsoil on top, and then we're done. Before I lose all of our light, let's see the final finished product. Okay, all tucked in. Nice little topsoil base. It's difficult to see with the light, but there's just about an inch slope. And pretty straight. I'm so excited and I'm so relieved. That's tough work, but I really think it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so it's about four days later after we planted these and I wanted you to be able to see them in the light and settle them a little bit. So let's go take a look at our Princeton Century Pinko trees. Here we are, all tucked in here. Bottom looks pretty good, got rid of all of the hard clay pieces. And I think we're set. So I can go ahead and take these tags off and I'll do that, but it was a big job. We're done. I'm really happy with them. And hopefully it's something that our family can appreciate forever. And next time, we'll go ahead and hire it out to be planted. Please comment below and let me know if you're planting any trees this year, what kind, what varieties. And feel free to like this video and share and follow us along here by subscribing if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.